Okay, just wanted to do a real quick tutorial uh, to show uh, how you make sure that your pictures get cleared off of your iPhone. Um, I like to do this on a weekly basis just to make sure it doesn't get full because I like to do a lot of videos. So if you're on a Mac, of course, uh, here we are in uh, iPhoto. This is what I use to keep all my photos. I'm presuming at this point that you're doing the same thing. Um, of course, you know that like iCloud is bringing a lot of these photos in. When you look over here uh, in your events, you'll see somewhere in here a uh, photo stream. So it's already importing some of those in the background. That's why if you go to your iPhone, you'll see that some of these are maybe already imported uh, before. So I just kind of go through this process to make sure I got a few of the, the ones that haven't gone through yet, and it, it gives me the option to clear it. I don't think there's an easy way to clear it on your iPhone itself. So you see I have about 20 or 19 photos here, so I'll go ahead and import them. And you see uh, photos are being imported, it's doing this in the background, and I'll go through it. You might get this duplicate photo. I notice I get this a lot. Again, you know, some of the stuff's already come over in PhotoStream and everything. So I'll go ahead and check mark apply to all duplicates and make sure I say don't import. So I don't really need two of each photo. Let it finish it up. And you'll see, do I want to delete, delete the photos from my phone? Go ahead and delete the uh, photos that just came in and you'll see the last import. So everything that just came through will, come, will show up. You can check that if you want. But otherwise, if you go back here, it'll say, hey, everything left on your iPhone is already imported. Would you like to remove them from your iPhone? In my case, the same die sort. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove photos from it. It'll ask me again, do I wanna remove all 21 photos? Go ahead and hit delete photos. And there you go. Now all that space has been taken up by your videos and your photos and the camera roll are now safely in your events on iPhoto and you can go and take pictures and you have a little bit more room on your iPhone. So I hope this helps.